Some of history's greatest human migrations have been triggered by some of its most tragic events, like the Holocaust, after which many survivors in Eastern Europe migrated to the US and Israel, or the partition of India, where large populations moved between India and the newly created Pakistan. In fact, when we think of migration, we often think of it in terms of the impact of war and conflict. But the biggest annual human migration in the world is neither, and it's because of joy and celebration. Each January or February, according to the lunar calendar that measures time based on the moon's phases, billions of Chinese all over the world and many non-Chinese celebrate the Chinese New Year, also known as Spring Festival. In places like London and New York, it often takes the form of a cultural event in that city's Chinatown. But in China itself, it means only two things, family and traveling to them. With 1.4 billion people in China alone, this is a logistical task. Think about it. How do you move the majority of the population to every part of the country so that they can sit down and enjoy New Year's Eve dinner with their parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and cousins? You see, the main challenge is that many people in China don't actually live where they're from because of jobs that have taken them to the big cities where the majority of the population now live and work. Urbanization is not unique to China, but it takes on a different meaning there, and you get to see it in motion every year, not once, but twice, when in the space of roughly a fortnight, the same fortnight, one in six people in the world head home and then head back to where they came from. It's an incredible movement of humanity. 65 years ago, when data on this was first collected, there was estimated to be 23 million journeys during that spring festival. Back then, of course, the majority of Chinese were still living in rural areas. And even if they weren't, they wouldn't necessarily have had the income or the availability of transport to be with their family. Now, they have both. Last year, the number of journeys during Spring Festival was 3 billion, and that's because they have the money to buy a ticket and because China has developed itself into a major transport hub. People travel by planes, trains, high-speed trains, long-distance buses, ships, cars, and more. Even in Tibet, the very last part of China to be connected by railway now has the Qinghai-Tibet Railway, with the highest train line and train station in the world. Chinese New Year is unlike any other. The pressure is enormous for the transport system that, by the way, also has to contend with the coldest weather of the year. And then there's the pressure on the passengers themselves. When I was living in Beijing, my friends would rush to the train station, wait in long queues and hope to purchase a ticket once these were finally released, often only a few weeks before New Year. Now the system has transformed. Thanks to 5G, AI and other homegrown technology, a typical experience is streamlined to this. Go online, open your app, input your ID and select your travel date and time. And when you're at the airport, bus or train station, you can go through immigration in less than 45 seconds, a story we covered last year on the China Current. But because of scale, it's still not smooth sailing. Last year, 5.6 million train tickets sold out in a single day. And Mother Nature can always spoil your travel plans. One of the biggest stories I covered as a news anchor was the winter during Spring Festival in 2008. Heavy snow, thick ice and freezing temperatures, the worst storm in half a century, killing 129 people. A lot has changed since, if not the weather, then at least the level of technology that's used to get people home and back safely. And that's what I like most about the biggest annual human migration in the world. For all the talk of how modern day tech is enriching our lives, is the traditional values of reuniting with your family, sharing a dinner, and making a point to wish each other the best year ahead that I think about. Because Chinese New Year, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Eid, or Hanukkah is about two things, family and traveling to them. Hi, I'm James Chow. You're watching The China Current, where we take a deep dive into the human story shaping the world. Follow us on all major social media at The China Current.